Good evening from Oakland, California. I'm Ed Cohen with Jay Williams. And Jay, you think of this building, Oracle Arena. Vince Carter won the dunk contest here. The Warriors have won championships in this building. You love this. It brings out the best. It's called the Oracle Experience. In 2016, the Golden State Warriors broke the single-season game record for victories with 73 beating the 96 Bulls. They still have the same cast in play. Now that's strength in numbers. Ten men on the floor. Let's do this this well jay brandon ingram number two pick in 2016 nine years after Kevin Durant Defense went second overall out of Texas. And There is a length and versatility to Ingram that's very similar to KD. Yeah, the comparisons are off the chart, but I'm willing to say this. The moves right now for Brandon Ingram are way more advanced at the same age than they were for Kevin Durant. One of the things you look forward to in this matchup, see if Brandon Ingram throws himself into the battle with KD. KD weighs 240, Brandon Ingram 190 pounds soaking wet. To Curry. To Green. Nothing going here on that drive. To Thompson. Driving right to the basket. Inside, he scores. As a team, when you establish your dominance in the paint early, it's critical to your offense because it eventually opens up the perimeter down the stretch. Caldwell Pope to Kyle Kuzma. From the painted area, won't go down. On the follow, way to stay with it. Sometimes you hear people give all these fancy breakdowns, tell you all these different things they can do. That was just plain old simple bully basketball. He muscled his way through the lane. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Lakers ball to Kyle Kuzma. Curling inside to ball. Nothing going here on that drive. Ball to Caldwell Pope. Here comes the screen. Caldwell Pope to Kyle Kuzma. Yes, tough shot. It's got to go up to go in. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Curry into the front court. They're down three. Plenty of contact. The shot no good. It's easy for the offense to get agitated when you keep turning around and the defense is right there in your face. The jawing is only going to escalate. Shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Green to Durant. Has a chance. Missed it. Not much more you can ask for from the defense there. Great dish to set it up. Fights through traffic to slam it down. Feed the big fella. Point to the passer. So good when you get everybody involved, in particular your bigs. You get them going, they'll run the court faster, and guess what? They'll set harder screens because they're actually in the game. Curry goes to the right side. Thompson, man, that was a tough shot. You know, someone had the audacity to ask Clay Thompson how he feels about being the third or fourth option, and I love his response. He said, I don't care. When you're as efficient as me, my paycheck warrants it. And I think about a game he had this past year. 
88.4 seconds of possessions, 52 touches, 33 shots, 11 dribbles for 60 points just in 22 minutes proves the reason why Clay is Clay. Here comes the screen. The screen sets him up for two. That's what you like. That rip through right into the shot. That's smooth. Have to respect all elements of this game. Got a piece of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Alonzo with it. And look out. Big finish at the rim. This has been a good first quarter for him so far. That wasn't an easy shot, but he was able to knock it down and add to their lead. Durant, deep right corner. Great defense there, forcing the pickup to Curry. Beyond the arc for three. And Stephen Curry, the fastest release in the NBA, hits the three. Look, that shot was going up regardless of what the defender was trying to do. That's called a heat check. LBJ to Caldwell Pope. Ball. Curry with the basketball. Counting down towards a minute to play here in a very tight opening quarter. Ball with it up top. Exactly a minute to go here in the opening quarter. We get a whistle and a timeout by Golden State. They'll catch their breath in what's now a five-point game. Coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Thompson to Sean Livingston. Cousins. It's good. Not necessarily his comfort zone. They dared him. He scores. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Los Angeles has the basketball. Tough-looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. And when he gets going, he is automatic from that position on the floor. And then stuffs it down with authority. Whoa, that was like an express train. No local stops. It's like you walking into the tunnel getting ready before this game. I saw you. You were locked in. You had the horse blinders on. You were myopic. Nobody was stopping you. You were focused. Jay, there's a level we have to reach. Game in and game out. Gamers know what it's about. Here comes the screen. To Caldwell Pope. With the step back. And that footwork was absolutely off the charts. Just that space, splash. Thompson to bring it into the front court. Down five. And the bucket's good for DeMarcus. Had a difficult first quarter. Couldn't really find his rhythm. But you got three more left to play. Justin Santiago at the buzzer. The first quarter's complete. The Lakers have the lead. On to the second quarter. Jay, I don't know if we're going to see quite that level of offensive production that we saw to start this one. Well, the offense is hitting on all cylinders. Great ball movement, great shooting, great passing. But my goodness, has the defense been horrific. Can we do something about that, please, in the second quarter? Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Deshaun Livingston. Thompson. Buries it on the catch and shoot. Clay Thompson equals a jump shooting metronome. Catch, plant, and shoot. And there's no wasted motion from the waist up, which leads to him being one of the most efficient players in the league. He's led the league for three seasons in a row in catch and shoot opportunities. You'll probably want to run him off the three-point line, force him to put the ball down on the ground and make a play. And Draymond hey, Green throws like it down. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim.
Los Angeles, they have it. To ball. To Beasley. Five to shoot for Los Angeles. To ball. Has a look. He connects. Sometimes you just have to go out there and make a tough play. No fading on that shot. Strictly up and down. Fundamentals 101. Draymond Green will go to the line to shoot two. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots each and every one of them. First try at the line, no good. Second one goes, it's a one of two trip. LBJ has it. To Kyle Kuzma. Caldwell Pope. Nice pass to set things up. James, just enough of a head fake to help on that one. This offseason, I heard so many voices. Even that of the great Shaquille O'Neal. Talking about how LBJ needed to submit his own legacy. Well, for LeBron, it's not about chasing external accolades. It's about hunting your own legacy. And that's to be the greatest of all time. Ball into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Ball to James. Here comes the screen. James to Caldwell Pope. Kuzma to Ball. From long range. And the rebound taken by the Warriors. Green to Cousins. And a nice finish at the rim. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Lakers at the controls right now. Kuzma to James. To Kyle Kuzma. Let's it fly from long range. Off the mark. No good. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. It's blocked by Boogie. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Oh! People at home can't see me, but that block has me out of my seat right now. He's rejected at the rim. Ball with the basketball. Down just a couple. Knocked loose. Hustle pays off. They've got the possession. The drive right to the basket. Ball to Caldwell Pope. Trying to cash in to James. Not that nice follow-up on the dunk there. Jay, what makes LeBron so special on the offensive end? Well, first and foremost, look at that frame. 6'9", 265 pounds with the agilities of a guard. He can blow by you. If he dips that shoulder, there's no way. There is nobody in the NBA that can guard that man one-on-one. -on -one. LeBron James with the rock. Nothing going here on that drive. James knocks it down. Defender has to get there next time. I know the refs on the court all the time, but it doesn't mean they can see every play. Maybe defensively grab his jersey, step on his toe, do something to kind of change up his pace. Thompson to bring it into the front court. Under a minute to go before halftime. And he stepped out of bounds, turns the ball over. Good shot, buddy. Good shot, buddy. Lonzo with it. Leads one. Turned away by Cousins. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Deep left corner. Thompson can't connect. Defense did its job that time. Caldwell Pope to Kyle Kuzma. Nice pass to set things up. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Here comes the screen. Curry to Durant. 
fires the three. So the first points for him in this first half, and he knocks it down for three. Yeah, they really need him to get going. Really surprised that none of his teammates have been talking to him. This is when he needs him the most. They have to uplift him, help him continue to be confident on the court. Oh, whistle. A simple touch foul. Durant, that's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. First foul in the last two minutes. Knocked loose. Warriors have it. That misses with two seconds to go. So we head to intermission all tied up in what's been a tight one from the start. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. Warriors are all tied up on the scoreboard after two quarters. The long-range shooting has been outstanding, and if they can keep it up, it's going to open up more things for them offensively. Player of the half. LeBron James has been a defensive force in this matchup. If he's not stealing the ball, he's swatting it. And that combination has made for an incredible half. Who was gold? What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he missed the title. Here we go with the top three plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Thanks for joining us. For All even to the first half of play as we get rolling once again here in the third quarter. It's Clay Thompson with the rock. Over to the right side. Driving right to the basket. Down the lane to lay it in. His instincts are unnatural. But what makes him so good, given the work he's put in? The special thing about Stephen Curry is that his entire life, he has practiced great habits. A lot of players practice and get up shots, but they don't practice the right habits, and that comes with the lineage. His father, Dale Curry, making sure that he puts in the time and effort, but the proper skill with the time and effort. KD with the rock. Cousins. It's no good. If he takes those shots, he'll be back on the bench in no time. With another basket there. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's deadly. Curry to bring it up. His guys down three to Durant. Inside, he scores. There's no better feeling after a game after you had 25 plus assists and you won the game and everybody recognizes that it's time for their bank accounts to get rewarded. Uh, Cousins up to block the shot. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors. Kuzma. LeBron James wants it. LeBron shot, that's no good. Here's Curry with it up top. His guy's now trailing by a point. From the painted area, won't go down. To Curry. He gets it. Ooh, he teased me a little bit right there. But see, I like that. That's called a great entertainer. Always leaving me on the edge of my seat. LBJ with it. Oh, stolen 
by the Warriors. Cousins to Green. Cousins knocks it down from mid-range. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now. Nothing going here on that drive. Caldwell Pope to James. Shot clock, it's coming down to four. Now down to three. And he finishes at the rim. Clay isn't usually a guy that goes to the bucket. He usually pulls up for threes, but that was a nice easy lay-in right there. Ball with it up top. The deficit now up to five. James to Caldwell Pope. The drive right to the basket. Caldwell Pope. Rebound pulled in by Cousins. To Curry. To Cousins. Oh, nice find for the basket. Sometimes when the players find that flow, nobody else needs to touch the ball. He's in a zone by himself. Now the Lakers going to use a timeout as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Got a piece mm. of it. Jumping out the gym right now. Great anticipation to Beasley. To James. Using the post to his advantage there and the finish at the rim. The maturity of one of the game's greatest on full display. Yeah, LeBron James still proving that he can get up there with the highest of the high, but still. I love the fact that he recognizes less is more now. LeBron James 2007, every play is a dunk. Now, it just happens once in a while. Enjoy the greatness. Has a chance. It's no good. Defender did just enough to force the tough shot. Lakers ball. See, I don't like that shot right there. Pass the ball, get the defense moving. Maybe set a hard screen, roll to the rim. See the ball go in a couple of times before you settle for a mid-range jumper that's contested. It's good. And one. Oh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. One free throw. Count it. It's a three-point play. And the lead up to eight. LeBron into the front court. His club staring up at an eight-point deficit. Knocked loose. Warriors come away with it. Livingston across the timeline. Final minute to play in this third quarter. Throws it down. Man, that was sweet. It's all about that first step, and it's all about angles. Look at the way he got his shoulders through the angle of the defender. That first step was great, but those shoulders getting through, that was a difference. It's James controlling the offense. Beasley. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Bell shot won't go. Rondo into the front court. Down eight. Driving right to the basket. Rejected by Green. And it's not just about blocking shots. It's about the physicality of the game. How about when all these down screens, your bigs are bumping these guys off the screen, allowing you to catch up to the play defensively. That's why you're playing so well. Just inside the arc. At the buzzer. Buries it on the catch and shoot. That's the end of the third quarter. The Warriors with the lead.
It's been a compelling game so far. The fourth quarter is underway. Los Angeles has the basketball. To ball. Take stock of the floor. To Beasley. Lakers down to four on the shot clock. To ball. A pass down low to Beasley. Shot from the lane won't go. And that's next level of defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now, as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you're forcing to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket. You're going to lower the chances of them making that shot. Rondo with the basketball. His guys trail by 10. Has a look. And scores. Nice move, Jay. Did you see the distance between him and the defender? You could pretty much put a department store between the two. Prices coming down. Curry to Green. Curry to Durant. the basket a lot of contact no foul you normally don't see that but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time every once in a while they venture into the paint los angeles they have it knock loose warriors come up with it Thompson to bring it into the front court. His team leads it by 10. Curry to Thompson. Durant to Curry. Off the mark. He's made those before, but that was well defended. Ball into the front court. Trailing by 10. Ball down for McGee to Beasley. Let's it fly from beyond the arc, and the Warriors have the rebound. Green to Curry. Here's a chance from long range, and Stephen Curry. The fastest release in the NBA. Hits the three. And this squad just continues to light it up from long range. One of the things I learned about teams like this, teams that fall in love with a three-point shot, as quickly as they built the lead, is as quickly as they can lose it if they're over-reliant on the three-point shot. New blood coming in for both sides. ball not that time and that's next level defense the defender took away the pocket space of the shooter now as a shooter stuffs it down with authority jay that's been the story this evening i mean another one another dunk another easy possession I mean, how demoralizing can this be for the team why am i the only one yelling i don't see anybody on the bench yelling i don't see anybody on the court even angry right now to curry trying to cash in Pass to Cousin, and a put-back slam. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural-born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Ball with the basketball. Down a bundle. It's blocked by Boogie. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Nice finish at the rim. You know, it reminds me out of the story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. The screen sets him up for two. And this kid has a chance to be a Laker great. Went from averaging nine points his rookie year to 16 in his sophomore campaign. Brandon Ingram is a name that you need to recognize. All by himself. Creates his own shot there. There's something that is so impressive about what we saw this evening. Not just the shot-making ability, but the fact that not every shot came from the pocket. There were some bad passes being made, and the shots came from different places around the body which aren't usual for the typical shot. That shot-making ability, that's something special to watch. Curry into the front court. 
His guys hold a commanding lead. Perfect feed to set up the basket. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 on them, maybe like Devin Booker did last year. Now the Warriors going to call a timeout. High fives all around. This game is well in hand in the final minute.